It's the end of the 20th century. A worldwide economic recession wrecks havoc on the nation and, and the planet. The impending threat of anarchy has given rise to a secret vice organization called Crime Ghost. Dangerously poised to take over the world with its diabolic strategy, Crime Ghost has infiltrated every country simultaneously. There is one president who has initiated a plan to wipe out the association, but now his home has been attacked and his daughter Elise abducted. A letter has arrived demanding that he resign his powerful position within a number of days, or else his beautiful Elise will be executed in a most unpleasant manner. The letter is signed Faust, the notorious mastermind of Crime Ghost. The president knows to whom he must turn. He has summoned two men, Paul and Vince, the incredible Akari warriors. Now you become Paul and Vince. You must go to the enemy hideout, rescue the lovely Elise, fight Crime Ghost, and destroy them all. In Akari 3, The Rescue from SNK, released in 1991, also known simply as Akari 3. Um, this is an arcade beat-em-up, kind of, sort of. It was ported to the NES, DOS, and the Commodore 64. It is the second sequel to the original Akari Warriors game, uh, following Victory Road. Um, the arcade version, as this was based on an arcade, is different than the other two. It features hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as weapons, which the others did not have. Characters had more lifelike designs instead of the super deformed version of the previous two games. Well, the game uses, um, let's, let's actually skip that and talk about the NES version here. The story is different from the arcade version, just a little bit, but not much. Um, we actually now have a life bar, uh, which is kind of cool. And exclusive to the NES port is a vertical shoot 'em up which takes place underwater. Grenades have been added in this game. Uh, machine guns have been added to this game. A new enemy lineup has been introduced, which includes green soldiers, scuba divers, knife man, landmine soldier, boomerang soldier, blue ninja, jetpack soldier, Jason, Suohamru, Suohamaru, I don't know. We have an, and a uh, new set of bosses. That's really all there is to say about the, uh, the NES game here, so let me tell you what I got from playing it. I, as a kid, <clears throat> excuse me, really liked the first Akari Warriors game. Really, really liked it. Uh, did not like the second one at all. This one is pretty good. It kind of reminds me of Last Alert a little bit, um, except this one is more punching related. Uh, totally different um, look to it than the arcade version. The arcade being much more of a side-scrolling beat-em-up, where this is a vertical scrolling beat-em-up. One thing I noticed, um, you probably noticed watching this, uh, the enemies all look basically the same, but some of them die in one hit, some of them take multiple hits. Why is that? I don't know. I can't say. Um, not too bad, though. The graphics are a little meh for, um, for being released on the NES as late as it was. Music is alright. It's kinda hard, which is basically a staple of the Akari Warriors, Warriors series. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty solid game. Um, if you're, if you're into this kind of stuff, I think you should give it a try. You'd probably like it. Me? Uh, maybe someday. I'll, uh, let's play the Akari Warriors games for you. Maybe. <laughs>